Hello, everybody. This is Dean Robinson, SummitCityNoise.com, and it's time to do the podcast. So let's get on with it, people. Let's get on with it. I'm just going to start out going at Pat Miller at Whoa, Whoa, AM, FM in Fort Wayne. I'm just going to start out going after this guy because, you know, I have to dedicate a little time each podcast talking about Pat Miller, you know, the host of the Pat Miller program on Whoa, Whoa, AM. Whoa, Whoa, AM and FM, it's our Fort Wayne conservative capitalist Christian Republican Party radio station. You get Glenn Beck. You get... Rush Limbaugh, then you get the Pat Miller program, followed by Sean Hannity, then Mark Levin at 9 p.m., and then overnights it's coast to coast. Then, you know, in the mornings, you get Charlie Butcher, the former WMEE Fort Wayne FM morning comedy pop music guy. That's what he used to do. Now he's doing news on Whoa Whoa. And when Charlie Butcher doesn't show up in the mornings, well, you get Steve Shine, the Allen County Republican Party chairman filling in for Charlie. And so you get all this right-wing stuff on Whoa Whoa. It's just the way it is. And so in Fort Wayne, you got Pat Miller using the Pat Miller program to push Donald Trump, defending anything this guy says or does. It's absolutely outrageous because with Whoa Whoa and Pat Miller in particular, supposed to be oh so Christian always talking about these Christian values, all these morals, they want it in their legislation, they want it in their legislators. They originally wanted it in their leader when these mugs wanted Ted Cruz, the senator from Texas, you know, the oily slick politician that everybody hates because he's such a politician, but he was the moral Christian center of the Republican Party until Donald Trump took him down, you know? But when Ted Cruz was running for president, You have Pat Miller here in Fort Wayne campaigning for Ted Cruz. Even recently, Pat Miller says, I worked for him. Ted Cruz trying to get him elected. But now, since that was a failure, since, um, you know, Moses for the modern day, according to Glenn Beck, that's what Ted Cruz was. He was Moses for the modern day, sent by God to do God's work. Ted Cruz. But I guess he's going to be doing God's work as a senator from Texas again, because he's not your presidential candidate. Old uh, Lion Ted, Lion Ted got beat by Donald Trump. Now, Donald Trump does not embody any of these conservative, capitalist, Christian morals, values, except maybe the capitalism big time, you know. But Donald Trump going to tell you he's using this rigged system for his own gain, but he's going to fix this rigged system for you while he's letting his kids run the Trump empire. It's absolutely madcap. Then you have this Access Hollywood tape with Billy Bush and actual Bush, you know? So you have Donald Trump just talking about his sexual predator behavior, bragging about it. But then when women come out and say, yes, Donald Trump treated me in such a manner, you have Donald Trump calling them liars and opportunists. And then here in Fort Wayne, you have Pat Miller using the Pat Miller program on WoWo to echo the same sentiment. It's absolutely outrageous, but it's what we get. And so Donald Trump, he says that whole notion of grab him by the, and I just can't control myself, and I tried to do her, and I moved on her like uh, all that stuff. Donald Trump just says that's locker room talk. I didn't mean any of it. It's just talk. And these women saying that I treated them that way, they're liars, and I'm going to sue them. Pat Miller just says, what took these women so long to come out? Why don't women just want to come out and, um, you know, deal with all this sexual assault stuff immediately? Pat Miller somehow can't figure that out. But Pat Miller has a wife, the lovely Mrs. Miller, Kim Miller, you know, appearing in all these healthy weight loss solutions, medical spa commercials, you know, on YouTube and Vimeo. Well, there's Pat Miller and the lovely Mrs. Miller talking about all these weight loss solutions, you know, just selling this stuff. You know, I would like to know what Kim Miller thinks about Pat Miller's defense of Donald Trump. I just would, I would just like to know just about that. Now, if she wants to talk about, hey, I agree with Pat, I'm just following my man. That's perfectly fine. And if she says, look, As far as this uh, Donald Trump stuff goes, I just want a Supreme Court justice 
who's going to be nominated by a Republican president who's going to repeal Roe versus Wade, this abortion stuff. She can say that. That would be fine. I would just love to know what the lovely Mrs. Miller thinks about Pat Miller's stance because she is a public figure out here doing these commercials with Pat Miller. Pat Miller talks about the lovely Mrs. Miller all the time. He talks about his daughters all the time. I would like to know what these women think about Pat Miller defending the Donald. Because you're going to have Newt Gingrich on Megyn Kelly's show on Fox. You know, Pat Miller right there with Newt Gingrich. Newt Gingrich can't stand the fact that Megyn Kelly or anyone out here will actually address this notion of Donald Trump admitting that he's a sexual predator. Newt Gingrich, on his third wife, he hates talking about that stuff. And so when Megyn Kelly says, well, you know, this has hurt the campaign, this Access Hollywood stuff, it has hurt the campaign, well, then Newt Gingrich just blows his top. And he says Megyn Kelly is obsessed with sex because she wants to talk about this stuff. And he says, well, you're not covering any of this stuff about Bill Clinton and the women that he had these problems with. And she says, yes, we have. We have covered that. You know, but Newt Gingrich just says she's obsessed with sex. And so Pat Miller here in Fort Wayne, well, this guy does a whole show about what is happening with Megyn Kelly at Fox. What's going on with her? Why is she just now just being so different? Why is she just stepping out? Why is she just taking on and attacking Donald Trump? That's the way Pat Miller sees it. He thinks Megyn Kelly is attacking Donald Trump because she's just talking about the stuff he's talking about and admitting to, and then just all these other facts and stories that spill out, just covering it. But Pat Miller says these women are a bunch of liars, and why are they coming out now? Why did they wait so long? He's just following the same line of a sexual predator, just protecting them. I would love to know. I would love to know what the lovely Mrs. Miller thinks about that. I would love to know. Now, with Pat Miller... He's not going to take me on head-to-head in one of these uh, conversation interview debates like I had with Ryan Recker, you know, the program director, news director at WoWo. You know, this guy was insane enough, Ryan Recker, insane and naive enough to think that he can take me on in some sort of debate interview conversation, and he can't. He couldn't. Ryan Recker used to be my Facebook friend. That's how he invited me to this coffee with a cop conversation where I'm like, okay, dude, let's meet out there. Let's do this. And we do. We have this conversation where Ryan clearly, he can't hang with me. It's openly obvious. I embarrassed Ryan Recker and Wowo. They're embarrassed by it. They really are. They're embarrassed. And then Jim Allgaier, the GM over at WoWo News Talk, he knows that Ryan Recker just went out and did that on his own and did not consult him. Jim Allgaier would have said, leave Dean Robinson alone. Jim Allgaier was not alerted by Ryan Recker talking about coming out and and confronting Dean Robinson. He did not run that by Jim Allgaier. He also, Ryan Recker, did not run that by Pat Miller because Pat Miller would have said, Ryan, don't do it. You can't take on Dean. He'll destroy you. And that's why Pat Miller, he's afraid of talking to me one-on-one, just having me on as a guest saying, hey, this is Dean Robinson, SummitCityNoise.com. And then just the two of us having a conversation. He can't have it. And that Robinson record conversation, it shows you why he can't have it because Pat Miller is terrified of a guy like me who has some sense and does his homework.